Hello my friends, Takuya here, and welcome back to another Hearts of Iron 4 video. My friends, we are back and a new DLC has released, Trial of Allegiance. And I have barely played it at all. Yeah, for the past two weeks, I've actually been in uh, Europe. I was in France and I was in Denmark with my family. And when I did this here, uh, I, 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 even though I had early access, I didn't play anything at all for this. So I could make no videos and I'm sorry. But when I got back, I went and put out a poll here to determine what we were going to first play with this DLC. The thing that was going to completely change South America and give us a focus tree for Brazil, Chile, Argentina, and well, actually it didn't do everything though. It was uh, Brazil, Bolivia, Paraguay, Uruguay, Argentina, Chile. I don't think Peru or anything got this. No, Peru, Ecuador, Colombia, you don't have anything here. But Venezuela, interestingly enough, does have the ability to be blockaded. So that is actually an interesting bonus that you have there, Venezuela. Kind of makes sense as a national spirit, to be honest. Either way, by a pretty significant margin, you all wanted to see us break Brazil. And oh boy, have I discovered something extremely broken. And I do mean broken powerful, but in the beginning, it's just, uh, it's just, it's just very broken in general. Now, as a spoiler for what it is that I'm going to be showing here ahead, for anyone who has gone and seen my Switzerland video that I did that shows just how incredibly broken Switzerland is when you go for full air power, uh, Brazil in the base game, not Road to 56, has, oh my god, it's got some broken air bonuses that you can reach. The biggest weakness that it has is industry, but what if that wasn't going to be a problem for Brazil? Do y'all want to see me take over the entirety of South America and completely outpace American industry and bring ruin to all of it? You do, huh? Well, awesome. Go ahead and follow along then. Brazil 19 1936, land of rainforest and raining on the parade of happiness, which is, uh, well, you actually look very happy there, Mr. Vargas. The people, though, in your country, um, d not, not, not so happy. Many parades have been rained on, it seems. So from the beginning, national focus wise, what it is that I can see with Brazil is that they have gotten a fairly sizable focus tree. Like this is, this is very good. It's both broad and fairly long, no matter what path it is you go down. But it seems that the uh, alternate democratic path and simultaneously the fascist and monarchist path seems to have the biggest tree in here. Communism is still pretty significant, but also slightly smaller. And that is just politics, mind you. It has a pretty decent economic tree from what it is that I I can see here with a very mixed bag of bonuses for everything. Simultaneously, it has good bonuses to the army, to the air force, to the navy, and oh my god, when I say bonuses. I'm not going to spoil everything, but my friends, we are going to stack upon stack upon stack, or if my name isn't Stakui, which it's not, it's Steven, but I go by Stakui. Anyway, Brazil in the beginning of 1936 seems to start out in both a very strong and yet simultaneously weak position. The big weakness comes from the fact that it is a pretty backward state with only two research slots, but that eventually we will fix, even if we don't understand some of the most basic weapons already. It's okay, we use machetes down in Brazil. In our case though, we're going to need to start boosting research from the get-go and also some industry, because we are currently suffering from many bad effects that are going to weaken our ability to produce literally anything to fuel any kind of war machine. Factory-wise, we start out with actually a decent number of factories. I mean, 15 from the very get-go, and we can use nine of those, which is pretty awesome. In this case, though, we're going to build up some infrastructure in the provinces that have the most amount of space and also the least amount that we have to build. So to that end, we are going to build up some infrastructure down here in Rio Grande do Sul, and we are simultaneously going to get some civilian factories going in there. We need to get as much production going in the beginning as we can and also from this one on equipment one on support and one on artillery because we're gonna need a lot of that make sure that i got my mios assigned there we go go to build up some convoys for supply and we're going to need to go ahead and buy one thing of steel from the united states perfect the big thing is that brazil has a ludicrous amount of potential we just need to be able to unlock it and to that end i don't think that this government is really doing a great job but before we go ahead and address that what we're going to need to do is try and fix our economy a little bit. In the aftermath of the coffee crisis, the Great Depression ruined the Brazilian economy due to over-reliance on exports, primarily coffee. While efforts have been made to repair the economy, it falls on us to finish the job. We shall reinvigorate our industries and become the economic powerhouse of the continent. Yes, because pretty much everything down here in South America over the course of World War I relied entirely on exports. Like Brazil was coffee, Argentina was beef, uh, Colombia and other territories up here was like agricultural products, for um for fruits and things and then venezuela well they have oil but no one down here seems to be doing really well at this point in its history so we're going to fix this and try to bring back the economy a little bit take our armies assign that to a general and we actually start out with some pretty good guys they have like jungle rats so more movement attack and defense and since all of this is like the amazon rainforest jungle this is actually really effective for us 
Ah, the Kangako Menace. The northeast of Brazil has been played for many years by bandits known as the Kangako. With instability in the capital and politicians being more concerned with remaining in power, the Kangako are running rampant. Only through a concerted effort by law enforcement can we hope to curtail their influence in the region. Yep, this is going to unlock something over here on the side that we have to deal with, where using the little bits of command power that we get here over time, we have to try and remove all these bandits, or else it's just going to keep on damaging our stability. All right, with the aftermath of the coffee crisis, that means that between these two, we're going to go, want to get Radio Nacional first, because that's going to help us with stability, research, and ideology, and it's going to give us the free technology of radio. This is one of the key reasons why, in the beginning, you want to make sure that you're doing electronic engineering so that you can just get the radio technology for free. As soon as we finish that, we're then going to deal with the Kangako so we can start trying to pacify the bandits, which is going to be great for us. Deal with the Kangako. There we go. Now we can spend 25 command power here and just, over time, start eliminating all of these. From what it is that I've seen with some of my tests here that we're going to be able to get all these except one, which means that in the end, at least one time, we are going to be hit with an event where there is a chance that nothing will happen, a 42% chance that we're only going to lose two stability, and a slightly bigger chance that we're going to lose five stability, which is not fun to happen. But either way, with that done, that means that we're going to need to be able to start fixing our country politically. We have the option of going between the communists, uh, the fascists, and the monarchists, or rather, actually, no, this is the democratic path that we have over here, and then this is the fascist, or rather I should say it's the fascist and the nationalist, where it, it, you have like a more right-wing government, yet not one that is affiliated with the uh, the no-no Germans over there in Europe. In our case, though, we want to bring back the true glory of Brazil, monarchy. As for why, well, you'll see. It's all coming together. First off, end the state of emergency. The once heroic Getulio Vargas now stands as the greatest threat to Brazilian democracy. His desire for power and opportunistic tendencies have allowed him to all but suspend the rights we fought to secure. All who value freedom must oppose this dangerous state of emergency. Let's go ahead and get rid of that then. After doing that, it is time to romanticize the imperial history because there is no shortage of disgruntled politicians, business leaders, or citizens who, for one reason or another, wish to see the end of this failed republic. Perhaps by unifying around our imperial history and past glory, we can unite them all into one cohesive movement. Movement. Yeah, because that's totally worked out in history. Either way, it is during this focus that we should be able to get enough political power over here in order to be able to go to partial mobilization. So, once we do so, that's only going to boost our economy more. Imperial history romanticized. Now what is going to happen is that we are going to be able to support one of two different rivals to the throne. Either Pedro de Alcantara, who apparently gave up his claims to the throne just so he could marry someone. Oh, come on. Hey, that it sounds like you liked this person rather than the country more. Buddy, I... I, I, I don't think that's going to work out very well, especially since you're trying to go back on all that. What are you going to do? Divorce your wife? Uh-uh-uh-uh. No, 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 no. That's not what we do here. Pedro Enrique. Yeah, no, you are the guy who is going to be leading us to power and glory. Just look at that forehead. Now that's a leader. All right, with that support now given, that means we can go to Café Com Lete Politics. The once powerful coffee barons who controlled Brazilian politics for decades were swept from power during the 1930 revolution. Many retained a great deal of economic influence and could be coaxed into supporting our imperial restoration movement in exchange for political concessions. Yes. Once a little time passes, we get 150 more political power. That means we can get this guy, Olivier Viana, a controversial academic, which is an interesting title to have. Not exactly sure what this guy's whole deal is, but hey, I get 3% research speed and more unaligned, which is exactly what I want. Cafe Colette. Hey, would you look at this absolutely dapper fellow? Buddy, I absolutely love your glasses and your hat. That looks amazing. I love that. And as a staunch monarchist, this is only going to boost unaligned even more. But the problem is, I can't do the constitutional monarchy compromise until I have more than 30% support for the Imperial House. So, in the meantime, what we're going to do is start to fix our economy by getting rid of just our entire focus on coffee. We gotta do what we have to do. As soon as that is done, we should have waited enough time that this now unlocks constitutional monarchy compromise. With the Imperial Restoration Movement gaining traction and support for the current regime waning, calls for a compromise solution to stabilize the nation are increasing. Huh, yeah, Brazil. Stable. Sure. Yeah, of course. The most prominent suggestion is to establish a figurehead constitutional monarchy while retaining political power in the National Congress. Yeah, yeah, totally. We're not, we're not undermining that at all. No, no, it's fine. It's okay. And once that is done, we're going to have several options here now. Bribe the military, undermine the Congress, and issue out royal titles. Well, listen, all of these sound absolutely amazing, but uh, this is going to get me a research slot. So I'm, I think bribery is always the answer when it comes to government, you know? Because yes, that's how I fix my government. Bribery. How very Brazilian of me. Ah, yeah, see, we're going to miss this out by just a couple days here, unfortunately. Let's see what it is that we get. Is it going to be a successful one? Oh, actually, 
doesn't really do much here. No, uh, I, I managed to have that only minorly affect me. Wow, crazy. No loss of stability for me, it seems. And with the last successful operation, that means, ah, great. I got to save up a little bit more and do it again. Okay, that's fine. But once I do this, they will be gone. In the meantime, we start undermining the politicians. Now, unfortunately, undermining democracy is actually something that's going to hurt us here for a little while. So until we get above 50% support, which is actually pretty close. Yep, we're not going to need that much time here. We should, in the meanwhile, go over here and and actually get a little bit of steel in our country so I don't have to keep buying it from the U.S. It also gives me a civilian factory, so honestly, that's some pretty good stuff. Go figure. You need more than coffee to fight a war. Though I could probably fight a lot of people when I'm on coffee. Either way, with that now done, that means I can stop trading with the United States so I can get another civilian factory back. And on top of that, we can actually beeline our way down the political path. Utilize the national security law. Because despite the feeble resistance offered by members of the National Congress, our new Council of Ministers have successfully established themselves as the legitimate government of the nation. Now they shall use the national security laws enacted by Gatilio Vargas regime to assert to absolute authority over political affairs, which is going to um, kind of hurt us because apparently people don't want to be under a monarchy again for some reason. I don't know why. It was great. Now here's where things get rather interesting because we are given several options. We can try to unite with the kingdom of Brazil and Portugal. So in other words, we're going to demand that Portugal actually becomes our subject, which in this case, I've done multiple tests from here. And I don't think on the, uh, on the, on the regular historical side that this will ever actually succeed. I tried it like eight times. It just, it does not seem to work. So this is probably something that you can only utilize in an alternate history or multiplayer setting. This part is interesting because it's going to allow us to uh, form penal colonies and use all the great criminals that I'm sure Brazil is absolutely rife with and just throw them onto the front lines because they make great bullet sponges. Or we can say screw it and immediately go down here and try to reestablish the empire of Brazil and then demand that Portugal just becomes our puppet anyway, which I've seen them accept. So yes, reestablish the empire of Brazil with power securely in the hands of the monarch and their appointed ministers. It is time we restore the nation to its former glory. Ah, that's going to give us some great bonuses here and great stuff on our uh, core territory, more stability, more war sports, more political power, everything. That's what I want to see. And with that, my friends, 20th of April, 1938, we are the empire of Brazil. Next up on here that we're going to need to try is to see if Portugal wants to um, get the band back together, so to speak. As for what they'll do, I honestly don't know. I've seen him refuse. I've seen him accept. But just anything could really happen here. Uruguay, though, ah, I just don't mind these guys. They're just stretching. <laughs> ah, see? See? Portugal accepts subjugation. As expected, Portugal. Clearly so much weaker than Brazil. Oh my god, there's so many Portuguese people in my Discord that are going to be very angry when I say this here. But, but yes, of course, they've just willingly acquiesced our demand for their subjugation. As the news spreads, a somber mood has spread across the former nation of Portugal, with many grappling with the new reality. Meanwhile, patriotic fervor has gripped the people of Brazil. Reunited at last, which in, of course, has completely destabilized Portugal since this happened. Okay. Well, either way, with that done, that means we can, um... Finish things off in Uruguay. Cisplatine revanchism. The shame of the Cisplatine War hangs over the Imperial House even a century after the costly war ended. Reasserting our claim to the lands of Uruguay would go a long way to rekindling pride among our subjects and reminding the world that we are not the same decrepit nation that we once were, or are today. You could just say, oh, whoa, I am missing a lot of equipment. Okay, well, one of the things that happens here is I, I, I think I get basically everything. Yeah, I get everything in Africa. And when I get everything in Africa, that means I now have to actually control all this territory. Portugal, the <laughs> keeps it so brazil has colonies now in africa <laughs> oh that is that's pretty funny not gonna lie that is uh, that, that that is really amusing anyway what we are going to need to do is uh put you on cavalry and simultaneously local police force because yes and after that prepare for uh the real fun ah uruguay 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 you're uh gone Oh, uh, what's this? Argentina gets a vent to the Empire. Brazil makes aggressive moves on Uruguay. Well, <laughs> you better not interfere then. Yeah, we're just going to move on in there. And uh, in the meanwhile, focus on restoring Brazilian honor, which, you know, that, that that's going to help me out here. There we go. Move it into Montevideo. Perfect. That's going to allow us to seize all their equipment, take the land, and also take their navy. Pretty nice. Just seize everything here. Perfect. Perfect. Ah, Brazil. Looking, looking nice and thicker now. That's going to at least give us some equipment with which we're going to be able to go over here and recruit even more divisions. Perfect. That should help us out here. And as soon as we then restore Brazilian honor, because, you know, it's, I mean, it's a good thing that needs to be done. Afterwards, we can, uh, 
worry about Bolivia. With Brazilian honor being restored, that means we now have the perfect opportunity to prepare to strike Bolivia. Rekindle the ac it, would it be Acre War or Acre War? I guess it might be the Acre War. Although the Acre Acre region is now under our control, we could use the historical border conflicts there as an excuse to carve up even more Bolivia. This could give us access to a great wealth of untapped natural resources, supplying our industry for decades to come. Yes, yes indeed. I'm actually going to get that done here rather quickly, which means I need to spawn out those units that I have recruiting here. So let's uh let's go ahead and spawn you six out real nice and quick. Perfect. Throw you into the army and spread you out and get ready to fight. With that focus done, that means Bolivia. It's uh time for you to b Boliv Boliviate, b b be Boliviated. I mean, I tried to turn that into eliminated and that did not work whatsoever. Oh well, doesn't matter. You're dead. Now, immediately what I could do after this is I could do secure our border, which I'm able to do if I have more than 60% war support or I'm at war. And yes, I am at war, but I'm going to finish off this war way earlier than my war support board here is going to allow me to actually fix. So instead of worrying about this, we need to worry about our economy, which is currently in a state of flux when it's Brazil. And to that end, we are going to get more resources. The awesome thing about this is that it seems that in all my varying different states that I have, uh, I'm actually going to get bonuses that are going to increase the amount of resources. I do more of these, it's going to increase the amount of construction speed and local factories in them. I, in general, Brazil is going to get huge amounts of bonuses that towards mid to late game are going to stack really high, it seems. In fact, I'm curious three years from now in this game precisely what this is going to look like because my god, is it going to be powerful? Brazil really is the sleeping giant to the south. Either way, we attack and we kill. There we go. Immediately move to La Paz. Uh, let's see here. Just try and pause. Don't, don't actually. Here, here, you. Stop. I don't want you to waste your lives. We're just going to try and move in and be real smart. Just calm down. Just, just calm down. Just calm down. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, buddies. Okay. Calm down. Stop attacking. Now, all four of you attack at once and go ahead and eliminate these guys. That should be fine. And you, horsey boys, move to La Paz. And with that, Bolivia falls. We take all their artillery. We take a whole bunch of equipment from them. Ooh, that is really nice. And all that infantry equipment. The more of these things that you end up seizing here in the south, that just means that that's, that's more equipment to be able to fuel bigger armies for you. I mean, that right there was another 5,000 infantry equipment, which, lo and behold, I can use to crank out 12 more divisions. So thank you. Oh, no, Chile got an earthquake. Would be a shame if anything happened to you there, buddy. Don't worry. Your time will come. In my case, though, now what I need to really start doing is beelining down here towards attacking parts of South America, but I cannot do that until I actually get my war sport up here a little higher. So we are actually going to need to do the thing about issuing royal titles because this guy, Yuriko Gaspar Dutra, ho, ho, ho. Oh, oh, this is going to be nice for Brazil. As we begin to retake control of our rightful domain, the burden of controlling the diverse regions is becoming a burden for our dear monarch. He has therefore proclaimed that the new landed royal title shall be issued to those deemed trustworthy to aid in the governance of the kingdom. With royal titles done, that means that we can unlock, let's see, where is he? This guy, the Minister of Defense, which is going to give me a whopping 2% recruitable population plus 10% war support. That is beautiful. Plus an additional 5% defense on our core territory. That means that we as Brazil have a whopping 15% bonus base to defense, which is pretty nice on our base territory. And eventually, that's going to be all of South America. Oh, did I spoil it? Oh, just wait. Secure our borders. We are surrounded by adversaries beyond our borders who wish to isolate and destroy our great nation of Brazil. Yes. With the domestic situation under control, it's time that we turned our attention to foreign affairs and began making maneuvers to ensure our national security by eliminating everyone around us. You can't exactly be in danger if everyone around you has already been eliminated. Yeah. With the border secure, that means we get two options. We can either be a really good neighbor or a really bad one. We shall never be fully secure with so many adversaries in our doorstep. The only path to Brazilian salvation is for us to become the undisputed power of the region and destroying everyone else. Yeah. Two years, we're going to get 10% attack and defense, which is awesome, plus more factory output, and we're going to need that. Now, my friends, begins the rapid beeline towards uniting all of South America. And with it being July of 1939, that means that uh, things are about to get really spicy in the world, and we ourselves are going to be able to capitalize on precisely all the chaos that is happening. How are we going to do that, you may ask? Well, there's a little thing here called uh, the Guyana Crisis, where considering what is going on in Guyana today, it uh, could, could be a little bit relevant, except this is from the other side. With the eyes of the European powers elsewhere on the globe, we have an opportunity to force their hand into transferring their territories to the Guyanas to us or face another front in the war. So if you time this right and get it right as Germany declares war on France, you can drastically increase the likelihood that they will accept because they don't want to have to fight on this side as well. And with Poland refusing the German ultimatum, that 
means I go and bypass all this. Question is, do they accept? France agrees to trade the territory. Perfect. Netherlands also agrees. And the United Kingdom agrees as well. Oh my lord. We just seized control of all of Guyana, which means there is now no European powers on the continent that are going to be able to threaten us. Paraguay, I think it's time to intervene for, you know, safety and security. Yeah, it's, it's too unstable and unpredictable. For the sake of our own national security, we need to make sure that they they can't do anything. Question is, will they accept? Do they accept? Hey, Paraguay accepts offer. They've accepted our offer to become a puppet state. I kind of wish that they had uh, refused because then I would be able to attack them. Either way, you know what? It, it's fine. They're now a puppet. So we're going to go ahead and accept that, which is lovely. And then maybe next, that means uh, Chile. Hey, I don't think I trust you behind your mountains. We must liquidate the Chilean state and integrate the territory into our own. Yes. Actually, wait, no, hold on. I can't do that from this side. That's going to be a slog through the mountains. Mm, nope, nope. Instead, I think we're going to go after Argentina first. Yep, that seems to be the better bet here. We're going to see if we can provoke him. Provoke Argentina? <laughs> Argentina takes the bait. Argentina appears to be preparing their own forces for an attack against us, following our recent provocations along the border. Little do they know, they have fallen to our trap. Soon we will have an opportunity to crush them, and they will have to suffer the international condemnation for the war. Yes, they declared war on me. On me. Little old Brazil. Little, tiny, starving for territory Brazil. How sad. Yeah, Argentina is still going to take a little bit of time to kill. So in the meanwhile, while that's happening, uh, economy then. First, we're going to invest in the railways, and then we're going to beeline down here to roads and get ourselves another research slot. Perfect. Let's go ahead and get that done. In the meantime, we can just uh, peacefully move here through the south, you know? Peacefully. Just ever, ever so incredibly peacefully. I know that I'm Brazil, and I basically have infinite manpower at this point, but I still don't want to waste all that because we want to actually be able to take over uh, all this territory without losing all of our equipment which truthfully that's the more valuable thing here in this scenario yeah there's really no way that they can stop us now just go go push 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 we already eliminated a whole bunch of them around by keeping paraguay as a puppet but not actually being here they still have to hold troops on the side which means we're just able to push in and take over the entire country great push to the nope nope they're not going to be able to take that part of the capital all right and with that argentina falls oh my god that's so much equipment we are seizing everything beautiful we just run circles around them seize their entire actually decent size navy all things considered and with that my friends we have taken over the majority of south america so we have a giant paraguayan pimple on us apparently well either way next step we go ahead and secure this uh research slot and then after that we spice things up with some chile we have another research slot and simultaneously we are going to be posed to strike chile just you know soften things around us uh chile don't be so cold to me don't be so chile because things are about to get spicy yeah, I hate myself, I know. With that, the only thing left is to push against Panama. Though in this case, it's actually going to give us war goals against Ecuador, Venezuela, Peru, and Panama, but not Co Colombia for, for some reason. Why would we get war goals on everything except Colombia? What, what, what is going on with this? Is it because they're democratic and they would immediately sign up with the, with the allies? Yeah, that possibly is it. Well, either way with that, Chile is wiped out. We're going to go ahead and seize all of you. We're going to take all of your navy and excellent. Nice. Go ahead and spam out all these troops. Wait for the next round. And okay, we only got about 20 days left. See, this is actually perfect because what we're going to try and do is take out Peru first. It is easily the biggest threat among all of the entities that you have down here and not because it's actually going to attack anything but specifically because the longer you build it since it actually starts with a decent military base it is just going to continuously build up more and more units and in the mountains that is insanely hard to be able to fight. And with the Panama push, oh boy, can we begin. Peru, allow me to peruse your your, your countryside because I'm taking a look at it through the barrel of like a, a, of a gun. Okay, Again, I'll shut up. Either way, with that done, that means we can unlock America do Sul. South America has fallen under our domain through the strength and courage of our people. Now we must begin the difficult task of unifying the continent under our rule and culture. There's a reason why we've saved up so much political power here at this time. The reason is because after we complete this, we're actually going to get the ab ability to gradually unlock and core every single state in South America, which as you can imagine, is a lot. Now, the mountains down here are going to be very hard to actually break through, so what we want to do is launch ourselves at our arguably the weakest points within the countryside. We're going to leave this entirely open here in the north because if Peru can go ahead and spread itself out through here and trying to invade the Amazons, that means I will be able to actually take over the territory behind them in what is actually crucial, important spots. So quick, let's break in and try and surround them on all sides. The more that we can spread them out, the better that it's going to be for us. 
Okay, we are not going to be able to break through the mountains. We're not going to be able to do very much anything here on this side. Instead, we're going to lose tons of people. Because again, mountains and trying to have to actually fight through that. It sucks. There we go. There's one point captured. Go ahead and surround that. And we're going to need to build up a lot of supply of other, of other equipment. That's going to become pretty important here as time goes on. And there it is. America do Sul. We have actually everything over here, which means beautifully. Well, actually, I'm going to start integrating things once we actually take out Peru, just because I don't want that to uh, reset while we try to take over everything else. Either way, that is actually done down here. And while I could do things over here to continue down myself politically here, we might as well actually fix our economic situation a little bit and get some more supply. Actually, no, no. What we need is air developments. Because if there's anything that the Brazilians are known for, it is the smoking snakes. And oh boy, are we going to create a lot of smoke? There we go. Okay, that's not working. We're just taking more losses. Not fun. Not fun at all. It's okay. Come on, just slowly move in there. Don't let them... Oh, come on. Really? You're going to let them take that? Okay. I'm losing so much freaking equipment here just from continuously attacking. See, this is why you got to take out Peru and you got to do so fast because otherwise they're, they're just going to pull this crap. With the Brazilian Air Force, that means we can now focus on building up all our academic ability for air airplanes. Yeah, the pilots will need to be taught stuff. Okay, okay, we got them surrounded. Please, that's at least some forces. This war could finally be over. This is the biggest annoyance that you generally have to deal with here. Yep, 78,000 dead, but that is basically a drop in the bucket for Peru. I mean, Brazil. Yeah, that thing. Come on, come on, just wipe these out. I just need to finish these off. Peru is so freaking annoying. To the point that I'm literally out of infantry equipment and I've been boosting up a massive supply. Well, you know what? Buenos Aires, all of these different states just, just become my core. I don't want to have to maintain you here anymore. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. With domestic air design done, that means Impresa Brasileira de Aeronaut. I don't speak Portuguese. Or should I say New Brazilian? It is clear that we wish to keep our production efficiency as high as possible. We must establish a large-scale aircraft industry within our own borders. And yes, that's actually going to give me the ability to get my own aircraft designer that I did not have before. Something that you're going to see is going to become very broken. Peru declared war on equity. Why would you do this? Why? Genuinely, why? Well, either way, that was, that was it. That finally, finally finished off. Oh my God, that took forever. Okay, well, thank you for this. We can just take everything because even though, you know, you, you tried to fight equity, or that's uh it's not gonna work out for you there oh and just look at this now it is february 1941 technically if i took out peru earlier or something i i probably would have been able to do better but from all the course from everything that we were getting we have 107 civilian factories and a whopping 52 military factories now like at this point we have an economy that is almost double the size of italy and it's only gonna get bigger and as we move all of our soldiers here to the north and finally get ourselves a aircraft mio that means i can finally get myself here some specialization very nice and the reason, my friend, that Brazil is so incredibly broken from what we found is that once we actually have the industry to be able to support a massive army, whether it's tanks, planes, whatever it is that you want, we all know that air is king, right? Well, here's the thing. Once you get down to this level, past the point where you actually are able to found yourself NMIO, you get to select what it is that you want to focus on. And as Brazil, you get very specific bonuses. Flying Fortress, which is going to focus significantly more on your heavy aircraft. Uh, you're going to have the ones that are going to focus more on medium aircraft or the nimble one that is going to focus more on light aircraft. In our case, from what it is that we're trying to build, we all know that CAS is king, therefore a nimble air force is honestly the best thing that we could go and create. And 75% research bonuses, that is, that is some pretty nice stuff, but that's not the big bonus. No, instead, look at what comes immediately after this here. Once you choose what it is that you want to focus on, this is going to unlock one of two different sets of things that you can select. And from this, you can only select one of these. Focus on bombing, which is going to give you 20% air range and plus 15% strategic bombing, which is massive. You can focus more on army support, which is going, if you're going like for a pure cast build, considering how insane those things can be, that is plus 10% attack, plus 5% air superiority, and plus an additional 5% ground attack. Winning the air war, which is going to boost air superiority by 10%, plus 5% interception, and 10% agility. Or focus on naval support, which is going to increase your agility by 10%, and on top of that, 20% air range and that's without adding any parts to your planes that is already powerful enough but if you go down by one depending upon what you select up here that means you can either get ground support specialization which further increases your attack by 10 percent and air defense by 15 percent and plus five percent range or develop advanced airframes which is an additional 10 percent range five percent agility and 10 percent defense the biggest weakness that any planes have like when you look at the small light airframes is that although they are fast and can outmaneuver everything they don't have very much range and if you add on the modifiers, like the different things in here, where if we go over to the side and we say, want to switch this out to something like, well, I, don't, I actually, I realize I don't even have the thing researched here that I would need for range improvements, but you all know what it is that I'm talking about. The range improvements that you can see up here in tech, 
Extra fuel tanks and everything that you can see here lowers the stats of your planes. So this means that if you focus down this research side and go with naval support, which doesn't just affect your naval airplanes, that is just for all of your aircraft, that means 20% range here, plus an additional 10% range here, that is plus 30% to all of your plane's range, plus 10% agility and 5% more, so 15% agility, and an additional 10% defense, that is huge. On the other hand, if you just want to stack air superiority bonuses so that you don't need nearly as many planes, which doesn't really matter considering the industry we have, winning the air war plus 10% air superiority here, that if you go and combine that with the fact that we're going to get 10% air superiority here, we have another guy in here from our advisors that's an additional 10% air superiority, plus that, which will make it 30%. Maybe if you want to stack it further, you could get mass strike for another 5% here. And if you then reach all the way down here to operational destruction, and there may be further bonuses that go down the side, I can't really remember what was what. Oh, Yep, yep, air superiority, mission efficiency, plus 20%. Yep, that means that if you go down the complete side here of operational integrity, that means Brazil is able to get plus 70% bonus to air superiority, meaning that even with a smaller number of planes, you can, as Brazil, air controller Brazil, effectively dominate the skies and have green across the board, meaning Brazil is going to destroy the United States through sheer air power. But to do that, first, we, uh, we need to kill Ecuador. Yep, Ecuador falls. We're going to go ahead and steal all their equipment, which is something that we absolutely needed, so, you know, I will, I will take all that thank you very much seize all of you take the navy and then we can't actually go after colombia here so we're going to need to go after venezuela actually goodbye venezuela hello sweet sweet oil yep once we go and push here through the side then everything should be just fine venezuela should fall nice and quick i think yep there it goes go ahead and seize everything of theirs do they have a navy nope they do not meaning we take that and yoink all that is done perfect the only thing that remains here on the side is panama really well i mean I mean, technically Colombia does, but I, if I declare war on Colombia, that means I'm also going to be at war with the Allies, and I can't quite deal with that just yet. Yep, there goes the United States joining the United Kingdom, as everything is going to be picking up over on this side, and the Germans are death warring against the Soviets. We, however, at the bottom, probably are going to be able to do our own little thing here, I think. Like, as an example, actually work on fixing our economy. Ah, you know, Brazil and rubber. And now using the Navy that we quite literally stole from everyone else here, as soon as two days pass that means we should be able to do this yep oh no nope. ready to launch an invasion and perfect hey panama you want to join us no too bad oh wait i just realized something that panama is democratic which means as soon as i declare war on them the they're gonna join the allies anyway so i can't actually do anything just yet huh well okay that means that we're gonna have to plan for something a little bit longer term then okay next up five years no almost six years into the game we establish a bank after that we get some nice imperial development which is gonna give me even more resources in some of my states and there goes mexico joining the allies okay yeah we're we're gonna have to deal with a lot <laughs> down in the south this is gonna be a massive fight oh hey look we could finally invest in things we've laid the foundation for a strong economy in recent years with the establishment of new industries and infrastructure projects to maintain growth we need not only pull the levers of the or no we need only to pull the levers of the central bank and national industries okay with that also being done i believe that means can i switch this out to maybe the bank Ooh, hood what does this give me only five percent civilian construction yep i will take 15 percent less consumer goods thank you very much and finally we establish a new capital that should finish things off here for a lot of the states that are not necessarily very developed yet oh my god we are building ourselves a massive supply of rubber in here oh ho, 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 ho. oh whoa wait you're telling me i could have done this way earlier and actually got some investments and then from doing that meant that i could have built myself up even faster are you kidding me what with investment ports done we've spent another year we have another 82 divisions that are spawned out here beautiful or 83 with that being done i can go ahead and take all these sign those over to you and also create another thing to protect the other side of the continent that i i now have to actually guard against once that is done we can actually go up here to limited conscription just for an additional one percent you know population just just so i have spare manpower just just a little bit don't worry about it and with that all done there's a couple steps here that i could take i could continue to try to improve like let's say my army which actually this is something that would help me here in fact supply of construction speed pretty nice and combat penalties on core territory oh that is really good army experience gain 
organization. Ooh, even more org. Oh, ooh, this is very nice stuff, actually. We can even specialize our armor. Oh, 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 oh my God. See, Brazil has so many things. In fact, so many things that you won't even be able to do anything to figure it all out. In our case, what we're going to do is we it's, it's about time that we go ahead and focus on the army. We need to actually improve this because we have waited several years to be able to build up our forces that we are then going to be able to use to attack Colombia. So as soon as I have these forces trained out here and I built up a large enough surplus of equipment, then we'll be able to go ahead and launch our strike. There we go. February 1943, we finally have the units that we need. Let's go ahead and crank these guys out. I also realized that I actually did not get a war goal on Colombia, which means we're actually going to need to go ahead and uh, start justifying here. 160 days from now, the fun is going to begin. In the meantime, let's go ahead and get all these soldiers perfectly trained up and prepared. Next up on here, do we want an MIO? No, the strength of the common soldier plus 5% org and more defense on core territory. Holy crap, we are going to stack a lot of these bonuses. Fall of Moscow. Hey, that is actually happening. If I can get over here and actually join with the Axis here soon. Oh boy. Oh, <laughs> even more. Or bonuses. Yes, please give my generals all these amazing traits. I love it. Thank you. But also, no, we are actually going to want tanks for the coming uh, war against the United States. Yep. All right. There goes the United States declaring war on Vichy France. Things are probably going to be happening over here if I can just uh, please finish off this war goal here soon. And our justification is complete, my friends. Let the fun begin then. All right, lads. Tally ho then. Wait, is Colombia not going to join? Are they Are they not joining the allies? They're not joining the allies. Why are they not joining the allies? If I can finish them off this fast... Oh my god, Bravo Navy. Are you kidding me? It's going to give my troops even more bonuses for movement and attack on rivers? Dude, I will... How many bonuses does Brazil get to stack? Well, okay. Uh, that went way faster than I thought that it ever would. Thank you. I guess I'll just seize you then. Wow. Don't actually have to try and fight and defend things here then. Huh. That just means more course for me and I didn't actually have to fight over that. that that's weird. Why did they not try to join the allies? Well, either way, Panama. Uh, hey, good mind to you, yoink. If you could just kindly die, maybe I can get you before you go and join the allies. Could you? Oh, yep. Panama goes and capitulates. <laughs> No, wait, now they joined the allies, but I got them before they could, nope. <laughs> Before they could call anyone in, they're dead. Now no one joins the conflict. <laughs> and with the development of advanced aircraft, that means now finally I can build the big baddie planes. Oh my Lord. And that's even hurt me to the ability that I don't have enough aluminum for my planes. I'm just producing that much stuff. Are you kidding me? Oh, the big thing is, though, there's actually fighting that is going on over here. And I, oh, God, I, I don't want, I don't want to let the Allies actually be able to take the full might of Germany out here. That's not going to be good. Maybe what I'll need to do is once I do Department of Propaganda is I'll actually need to join with the Axis. So that way I join the war and then can attack everything down here in the south significantly faster. Crazily enough, at this point, I am running out of resources so rapidly that I literally can't do anything with this. I'm going to actually have to switch off of my export economy from coffee to limited exports. And then hopefully from that, maybe fix some of my issues. I, I'm, I'm praying. I'm praying that actually works. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. No, that actually really did fix my issues. Okay. Oh, Turkey joins the allies, and I have my justification. Okay, boy, here we go. Costa Rica, are you going to finally join the allies? Maybe. Maybe that'll actually happen. No, nope. still still nothing. Still nothing. No, we just... Oh, there they go. Wait a minute. And Costa Rica joins, but are they, are they calling anyone in? Is anyone... This is really weird. Well, at least we've been justifying Nicaragua at the same time. Oh man, I even get the option of still integrating Costa Can I integrate the entirety of South America and North America? No. Yeah, Nicaragua, it's a, it, it, it's your time to go, please. Yep, they fall too. We get to seize their Navy once again here, sweep up through all this and beautiful. Oh my God, we can get even more bonuses here to our artillery. Are you kidding me? What the hell? Further increase army professional, just more attack, more defense, more defense. How many bonuses can Brazil stack? Oh no, oh no, Italy is falling. We can't let that happen quick. We got to move faster. Guatemala, would you please join the allies? I'm tired of justifying. I just want to move. Please join the allies. Nope, you're not aligned. Will you, will, will you actually join? No, no, I <laughs> just take it. Gee, thanks. I appreciate you so much right now. And to justify Mexico, take me 250 days. Are you? Okay, that's it. We're joining the Axis. I genuinely do not care anymore. Establish the Berlin Accords. We got to do this. What the hell? Sweden requests trade of military expertise for ball bearings. Dude, yes, of course you want the Brazilian bonuses because that means I can produce more tanks and fighters cheaper. Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you, German Reich. I will join the war. I will indeed. 
Now, now that means that we are on the border with Mexico, and it's time to just storm into the south. Yep, let's uh, let's just go ahead and do a little push now here, shall we? With absolute and complete domination of everything here on the coast, I don't think that there's anything we can really do to stop me. I will need probably another thing here for port defense, so we will need to at least recruit all those. But yep, that's the peninsula, which means it is time to aggressively move up here. If we could just move fast, move fast, make it as aggressive as you can, and we will storm our way through Mexico. We have complete and utter air domination because there's no way the allies can actually move here and do anything in time, so we're just murdering everything. <laughs> Wait, did they withdraw from Panama? Oh, they did. Hey, thank you. Thank you, buddy. Thank you for doing that. Because now that means I can connect everything via rail and start boosting myself up here. Thank you. Okay, I I, I figured that it was going to be kind of easy here once I would dominate, but um, this is this is way easier than I thought that it would be. Holy crap, just how many bonuses have we stacked up in here? Even with the massive terrain bonuses, we are still slaughtering. Oh my god, wait, did they move all... Did you move all of your forces to Europe or something? <laughs> Oh my god! Because they launched invasions, I'm sure, over here. No, wait, that's all Britain. Wait, where the hell are all the forces of the United States? Why Why am I able to just walk into here? Where are you, buddies? Oh, you're you're launching invasions over here. You took Iwo Jima. All right, well, that's uh, that's not going to help you. I'm going to go into extensive conscription because we need as much manpower in here as we can get. And with that, Mexico falls. <laughs> Oh my god, this is so broken. This is so broken. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Just attach you all here, force into the army. Let's reform the line, and let's get ready to push. So, you know, here's what we're gonna do. We're not gonna try and push all at once, I think. We're gonna need to actually do multiple, uh, multiple... I didn't anticipate that was gonna be so easy. I thought I would have to actually try to kill the United States Air Force and everything first, but that did not happen. In fact, all of these port defenses, do I even even... No, I could actually deploy these as full armies here. I theoretically could. Hmm. You know what? We're gonna do it. We're gonna be make a beeline. If they're gonna do it like this... I have no rocket artillery, but you know what? It's fine. We're going to switch you over. No port defense. None of that is necessary. And instead, we're going to allocate all resources here as we can to rocket production. We need as much of this going as we can. No. Oh, you think you can launch an invasion down here? No, please, please distribute all your forces. I would love to see you try to attack other sides here. Oh, God, even though this is an absolute nightmare to deal with. Okay, well, well, all right. We're, we're, we're going to need to we're gonna need to deal with things everywhere now, won't we? Let's just push. Let's just go. I'm on extensive conscription, all right? If my manpower can rise faster than it falls here, we're, we're golden. Okay, no, we are we are actually running out of a lot of stuff in here real quick. Okay, we're going to try and murder off their Air Force fast because all of this is still highly contested here right now. And I don't know how it is that I feel about it. And we need to build some radar and everything else here in order to be able to push. So yeah, yeah let's, just, let's, just, let's just hold off here for a little bit. In the meantime, we focus on murdering them on the air war and build up our population. We've already taken large swaths of the United States. So from here, we should actually be pretty good. Let's see, any points for supply? Yep, we'll just take these points, move up individually to attack these. The more that I take of this spot, then that just means the less that I'm going to have to deal with here in the future. There we go. Spend our time building up all the Air Force over here. The more of these that we construct, the better it's going to be for us, because this just means that we're going to be able to uh, bomb them to high hell more, and we're winning the air war against America. <laughs> Okay, once that is all reorganized, make sure that we go ahead and build up our, our planning bonus over here, and then we should be able to push. It looks like they're significantly weaker on this side than they are over here. Now, I also need to build up a bigger supply of rocket artillery. I completely forgot that I was missing a whole bunch of that. Lads, here we are. I think it's time to go ahead and push. Let's do this. We finally got some tank divisions out here, so as soon as these break through, let's try to encircle as many of these here as we can. The rest of these should just be able to push because we have complete air dominance, I think. Yes, oh my god, do we ever. All right, perfect. The need to no, they did not depose Mussolini. Buddy, I am fighting to save your life. How dare you? We just keep on moving in. If we can take all of these points here and secure a supply line, that means that from here, I should be able to make a beeline across here and attack. <laughs> oh, oh my God. I've, I didn't realize I'd lost 500,000 men here trying to fight the United States. Okay, well, that's, uh, yeah, that, that has a tendency to happen here, I think. Okay, let's, uh, let's stop for just a moment. Forces are getting way too bunched up here now and I do not like that, not one bit. All right, once we have reformed, go ahead and start pushing again. I just really need to surround and destroy as many of these units in here as possible. Beautiful. Just move right in. And with those wiped, that uh, takes care of the entirety of the Midwest, pretty much. And now we can just move on in here to Washington. Nice and easy. There is literally no stopping Brazil. This is this is absolute insanity. And with that, that's Washington taken. Perfect. We have them surrounded. And now we can just move on in. And with that, the United States capitulates. <gasps> 
Oh my god, we did it. We did it. Quick, wipe out all the little units that they have spread out through this whole thing, and we will be able to take out Canada. Oh my god, the Germans are also, like, they, they, they haven't taken out the Soviets, but the Finns, the Finns moving into the Soviet Union. Oh, that, that's a that's a glorious sight indeed. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Brazil. Brazil is finally reaching its rightful place in the sun. And with that, Canada falls. All that's left, the United Kingdom. And luckily, we have stolen basically the entire Navy of South America with its absolutely stellar ships here. Buddy, no. No, you are not genuinely falling into a civil war right now. Oh, wait, no, it, it did. But actually, oh, they managed to retain the majority of their states. How nice. And now we simply have to wait. Oh, well, there we go. All right, launching time. I think that, oh yeah, they had basically no military forces there spread across the entire thing. Okay, well, uh, yeah, this is over. Actually, way faster than I thought it was going to be, honest. Yeah, it's um, it's not even close. Not, not even close at all. And there we have it, my friends. Brazil wins. Brazil wins everything. Now we can finally do what Argentina could not. Hello, Falkland Islands. And there it is, my friends. After much, 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 much debate, Brazil finally has its rightful place in the sun. We control the entirety of the Americas, minus a few uh, key little spots down here that we didn't actually end up invading. But also, simultaneously, we have the most important prize of all, Cornwall. And that, my friends, I think is where we are going to go ahead and leave things here today. Just out of curiosity, I'm wondering, can I integrate anything else? Honduras and Panama Canal, I can do that. Is there anything else that I get? Oh, oh my God, I actually get everything. I get all of this as core. How much does it extend? Does it go all the way up into Mexico or no? It's only the islands, I'm sure. And that's, yep, that's it. That's the last of the cores I can get. I get a bunch of the islands and that puts me at a grand total of 117 million people as part of my core population, making us easily one of the biggest countries in the world, especially since we also can control 189 million not core. Yeah. There you have it, my friends. That is the monarchist path for Brazil with the new DLC for Trial of Allegiance. I have to say that that was incredibly fun. Uh, you can build up an air force as Brazil that is able to challenge basically everything else in the world because you have large amounts of resources of both rubber, oil, and also aluminum which is ridiculously powerful, plus the insane bonuses that Brazil is able to get for its actual Air Force, if you can get the industry to reach that, means that this whole thing, no matter what you go with, whether it's just base infantry, whether you get tanks, whether you do Air Force, you can make it into a juggernaut. It is truly insane. I think that this was a lot of fun, and I appreciate all of you for joining me here today. Please let me know what nation it is that you'd like to see me do next, from Argentina, Paraguay, or really anything else that is down here. Whatever is the top-liked comment comment on here. I think I'm going to go with your next. But before I do that, I have a video that I'm going to need to make for a special someone that went and requested it. You'll see what I mean in the next episode. Goodbye, my friends, and thank you very much for joining me today.